In this video, we're going to create this logo animation with Envy. Let's get started. Open Envy and create a new document. First we need to set the scene settings. Change the background color. In RGB, change red at around 0.25. And the green at around 0.6. And then we're going to change its duration to 50 frames. Now it's set, hit OK. Import the logo that we created with Inkscape in the previous video. If you haven't yet, you can download the SVG file in the description below. Now select the object and center it to the scene. By opening the Align dialog, center it horizontally and vertically. Now we're going to ungroup the object and delete these shapes. Duplicate it and change its color to yellow. And then we're going to scale by pressing S, and then give it a value of 1.1. Hit enter and then flip it horizontally and vertically. Go to point mode, and move these nodes until it overlaps with the shape below. Hit X key to constrain to X axis. Basically this object will serve as a mask and when it is animated will reveal the shape below. Now we're going to animate the object's X translation. Scroll down the scroll bar, to fit the timeline. And go to frame 40. Now, move the object to the right until it reveals the object below. Hit X to constrain to X axis only. Go to frame 1 and play. Enable its graph and go to graph editor, to control interpolation of keyframes. Select this node and make it symmetrical. Then move this handle to around 15. Hit X to constrain to X axis. Unselect and fit timeline. Now select this node and make it symmetrical too. Move handle to around 50 at Y axis. Unselect node and select again. And move the handle to 0 X axis. Let's play. Now it's better. Now change the blend mode of the top object to DSD out. Shift select the object below and group. Then promote to layer so that the mask does not influence objects outside the layer. Now the first part is done. Go to frame 40 so that we'll see the objects. Then add a null object. Go to the object mode, and scale it to 5. Then center it to the scene. Now select the animated layer and add parent transform effect. We will target the null object. Now if we rotate the parent, which is the null object, the child will rotate too. Now shift select the null object and group. Duplicate the group then select the null object inside. Rotate by hitting R and give a value of 90 degrees. Duplicate the top group and select again the null object inside. Then rotate it again 90 degrees. Repeat the process to complete the logo.
Now let's play. Finally, we can add the scene to render queue. Go to the render tab. Select the destination, give it a name then save. Then choose the WebM, as the format in the output settings. We can now render the animation. Please please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.